Anders Nolly gets two eagles to fly by. Bacon with the block. And now it ends up with Cone splashing the three. Pass on the backdoor cut. Coach Dixon getting a look at some guys that come in off the bench usually. Oh, uh, Jalen Cone, when he averaged 36 as a sophomore and 26 as a junior in high school. That Lehigh is getting some three-point opportunities because of the rotations. Beautiful shot finished there by Cone. Cone for three. He got it. Well, a day after he turned 18 years old, drilling a three. You want to work that clock, but you want to keep attacking. Cone attacks and one. The freshman will take a trip to the line after the floater goes through the net. Good quick move, good first step. Eyes on the rim the whole way. Good job by Jalen Cohn. Percentage was very low, but their rate of having their shots blocked was very high. And one guy we were just talking about, Jalen Cohn, Wes. It's just great ball movement. And, and now part of the Virginia Tech program. Cohn elevates and hits. Lead back up to nine for Syracuse. BD back in the game along with Cohn. Cohn for three, and he's fouled. Mismatch that favors huge, or Hughes rather, Sadibe has his pocket picked. Cohn, nice shot, shot fake. He hits the three. He's an over 50% three point shooter, and he has a couple of big ones here in the second half for the Hokies. BD in the middle. In the corner to Cohn. And he's fouled again. <laughs> Just spotting up in the corner. A closeout that's out of control. Thunderbird, the fifth different NC State player to score so far. Here's Cone rising up. For three. Seems like he's building up that momentum. You can tell from coming to Syracuse game. Jalen Cone was recruited by Kevin Keats, but he came to Blackbird making bucket. Mike Young has just raved about what he has meant to his ball club this year. Clock winding down. Deep three at the first <laughs> <laughs> the officials have already ruled it good. And you see the release. And how about for the confidence? Got clock. One or two passes. And here's Mr. Instant Offense. Jalen Cohn is second three. Something I thought that he had in his bag. And talking with Jerry McNamara, something that he worked over over the summer trying to be better of getting the ball up to bounce. Cone, wow, just elevated on top of Behind. Putting the ball on the floor, and he's been aggressive, understanding there's no shot blocking on the Virginia, te uh, Virginia Tech uh, defense. Cone, a floater. Thing of beauty. Took his time, realized that he had a smaller guy on him, thought he did a good job of being able to gather himself and finish. Cone, that's been the best offense for Virginia Tech so far in the first half. Having a great performance. Shot clock a factor. Cone has to kick it out. They've got to heave it up there. And got it to go. And I believe the officials are going to go and look at that one. The 50-50 loose balls. That's what Pitt is all about. And as you said, Virginia Tech have been so good on the glass to start. Jalen Cone from straight off. Shot clock at seven. McGowan's pass picked off by Cone. Wilkins underneath for Radford. Redshirt Jr. from Auckland, New Zealand. And just his 12th made three of the season. Back the other way with Jalen Cohn rocking the trifecta. Well, Nolly right now not in the lineup for Virginia Tech. Cohn catching fire. Cohn. There's the look and then just no hesitation. Quick rush up the floor. Three-pointer, and they needed it, and Cone provides it. Timeout, Virginia Tech, and 20 points even for Jalen. He's, he's been fearless in this game. Defensively dodges a bullet, goes to help on the drive, and abandons Wara, who has his feet set to deliver that one. Can't give him looks like that. Cone swishes that one. Rubbing his thigh on the left thigh on the bench, and not an ankle, but that's as far as I'll spectrum. Cone hits the shot and foul on the play. Continues to wow with his ability with that quick trigger. 
almost earned the contact there. Four Back to Radford. He's running the show now. Cone gets open and knocks down the three. And he is wearing out his defender. My goodness, what a job he's done. Always ready to shoot it. Get up there around 11, 12 turnovers for Notre Dame. That's a headline. Dumping it down for Wilkins. Took a little bump. He made the shot anyway. He's not waiting around. He launched it up there very quickly. On the run out, here's Wilkins to lay it in. Quick strike for the Hokie. Junior Tech's in a little bit of a drought from the floor after they got the first basket of the ball game on the Radford Drive. Jalen Cole comes in launching. And we've talked a lot about the previous game. And you see running off multiple screens, but more importantly, the footwork to be able to gather, raise up, and shoot over a bigger defender on the turn.